African Cup of Nations is around the corner. It's action, attraction from all the corners in, uh, in the whatever country that is actually playing host to the tournament. As we speak, it is Egypt that is playing host to the 22nd edition of African Football Art Tournament. And you've seen a whole lot of uh, fantastic performance coming from uh, all the players that have been paraded by their respective national team. We hope Nigeria will actually get to the second, to the third round, and even get to the final and pick up the trophy at the end of the tournament. Let's move away from African Cup of Nations tonight and talk about this. It has to do uh, with the Nigerian Professional Football League, and it is the second edition of the Boot Award being sponsored by MSL. And a whole lot of persons are really saying that we want to have more of this in the Nigeria Football Circle. MSL, they are the one who is sponsoring. Uh, this particular one and we saw two players uh, in the Nigerian Professional Football League imagine the winner of this. Why they are two is the fact that they never consider the rules they consider in football. Uh, they maybe considering the number of minutes played, considering the number of yellow cards, considering the number of assists. All of these are not actually put into consideration but rather they actually consider the players that have the highest number of goals. But this concluded season, we have two players are from two different clubs talking about the form Kondo. He's a veteran when it comes to Nigerian Professional Football League. He has 10 uh, for Aqua United. While the other player is Sunusu Ibrahim, he's a young lad who is just actually grazing the shows of the Nigerian Professional Football League. It's his second season in the league and he did wonderful work with Nasarawa United. And though by, are judged by the Nigerian Professional Football League, uh, Paul's talking about LNC League Management Company as the highest goal scorer of the 2018-19 uh, season. But MSL did award these guys. Fantastic one. Femi, let's talk about this. It was indeed a fantastic one. I've seen an organization giving 200,000 Naira for each goal scored. And that was indeed a fantastic one. Well, for me, it's a, it's a good one. It's a great one, rather, uh, because you're, you're trying to spur more goals. You're trying to bring life in, 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 into the football league. And, um, so, 200,000 naira for each goal. It's a, it's a massive one. Approximately, both, uh, both top scorers will be getting, I think, um, 2 million. 2 million naira each. each. And that's, that's interesting. That's, that's a great one for the league. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, we see more sponsors. This will help grow the football league in the country and will thereby have more players willing to help the football league. Okay, talking about more players helping the football league, let's talk about this. Last year they did the same thing, and the winner of the first edition uh, was the former Kano Pillars in a uh, uh, football player who applied his trade uh, with experience of Tunisia and talking about Junior Lukosa. And this time around, we have this actually coming up, and we were expecting that it's going to be one player, but at the end of the day, we saw two players being rewarded. I think this game is going to be a good motivation for the strikers for them to be able to add more. If whatever you are collecting in your club side, added to the two million you are you are earning after you end your at the high goal scorer, you're going to go a long way in your career and it's going to be record like what we have uh, like Musa today. He was high goal scorer then when he was playing for Canopilla and look at where Musa was today. I also happened to uh, the way Mufo was playing, he's a very fantastic player that I like so much. I don't know why he was not shortlisted from the uh, Nations Cup where we were now, where we are having a lot of set free kick. It's very good when it comes to set free kick. It's very good when it comes to using head. His all round of creation is a very good player. He has been with Ava, winning uh, Nigerian League. He won the league. league. He went to the continent. continent. He, he has done nine everything. Goals he won. And was a mad. He was mad as the highest goal scorer in the CAF Champions League that particular season. And he has actually he has paid his dues. He has actually did wonderful work for himself for every club he has actually represented in Nigeria. Let's talk about this, what NSL are really doing. They are actually saying to us that we can take football to the next level. Like you said the other time, that when you score in the English Premier League, you will you get many power uh, and you not get money. You get bonuses, yeah. For, 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 not, for, for, for such a, a thing to actually start happening in Nigeria, don't you think that it's a good move towards a good direction? Like I said, I said it earlier, it's a good move and hopefully we get more sponsors because Sponsorship helps a great deal. Apart from the salaries of uh, these players they get, all these bonuses, it makes them improve. It gives them um, the ability and uh, the mental strength to be more focused. They, 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 they then decide they want to go the extra mile for, 
for the cross of the team and for the, for these bonuses. So it's a great one. Hopefully, on the Nigerian Premier Football League, we'll get more sponsors to help every team, every player. Okay, talking about our players in Nigeria Professional Football League, we actually urge you, urge you guys to actually keep up the fireworks so that you can be on the podium as well to receive reward. You know, this is always uh, appealing to the heart. When that, that they say that when you do well, uh, you get the uh, uh, reward for doing a uh, fantastic caliber. Away from that, let's do talk about this. It concerns Nigerian League, but it has to do with the FA Cup called ITO Cup. We'll be seeing the semi final stage, and semi final stage, they will be taking place here in Lagos on Thursday. And we'll be seeing 9 to 10 of those three tackles uh, with Rivers United, while uh, in Benue, we'll be seeing Calabar Rovers. Uh, square up against a uh, Kano Pillars. Finally, guys, let's talk about this Rashford extending his contract in Manchester United. Don't you think that it's a very fantastic one for Rashford? Uh, I, 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 don't, uh, I think it's a very good one for Manchester United. Uh, we know what he was able to do. Even that goal that he scored against uh, uh, PSG yes. it was very fantastic for him for him to be able to stay. They are looking forward to him. Maybe he's going to be someone that will replace uh, Ronaldo, which they have missed for so long. <laughs> but the way he's looking at, I won't be sure that uh, the kind of money they are giving to them as uh, their week, uh, weekly, weekly wages. wages, I think he's getting too much on them. And being uh, an English player, I think he was overrated to me. And I look, hope this will I not be that because of our sign. I wouldn't think that because of our sign. If you look at it very well, Talking about being overrated, Marcus Rashford has been one player that has been fantastic. 30 seconds. For me, as an English player, uh, it's, uh, sorry, as a Martunian, it's a good one. They're retaining him. Moreover, he has the club at heart. He, he knows that club inside out. And for me, it's a perfect thing to do. It's the best thing to do for Manchester I love United. That one. It's a perfect thing for yeah. Manchester United to do as we speak. I want to say you guys many thanks for actually being part of today's edition. Oh, <laughs> it's, a pleasure, a, yeah. it's a pleasure. It's nice. Pleasure. Thank you very much. And to the guys at home, we want to say a big thank you for always giving it fit to be a part of our production and to every member of the production crew, starting from the cameraman. Uh, <laughs> to the guys in the MGL that are really pressing the right button. I say a big thank you for making today's edition a worthwhile. So we come your way again next Monday. I wish you a wonderful night's rest. Till we come again, still at the doctor. Bye for now. I'm Michael.